Hello, complicated tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Wing Commander 2, Vengeance of the Kilrathi, with me, Bluenkilo. Today's mission is perhaps one of the more complicated ones in the series. Uh, there's a kind of a weird failure condition for this one, although it should be fairly obvious if you pay attention. Anyway, we are probably finished repairs on the Concordia as of now, and it's time to turn our attention to winning this war and... Uh, Hopefully taking out the enemy headquarters. That is, of course, our objective, just like it was for the Tiger's Claw 10 years ago. So, last episode, we flew with Angel, blew up a listening post. Uh, there was a little bit of problems with a certain rogue enemy fighter, and Angel, of course, ran in on her own and got her ship blown up, but she did hit the target with a torpedo, so you've got to give her half credit for almost getting a kill. And it certainly made it easier for us to blow up the uh, the listening post. So that was that was okay. And of course, we picked her up for the ride home, so we had a little uh, a little time to ourselves on the flight. I mean, the gunner crew would have been watching. I don't know. Might have been a little awkward. Anyway, <laughs> uh, welcome back. So, Enigma 3. Um, yeah, I'll talk about today's mission once we get flying, but it is, it is one that has an interesting failure condition. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. Let's go uh, check the story. We still have to find that saboteur. Your deal, Captain. Lou, we were just discussing what my life might be like uh, if the war ended. What will you do when you leave the surface? To be honest, I haven't even thought about it. The war has been going on for 40 years. There's no end in sight. I'm in for 10, coupling. Oh, I'm out. You're right, it's too early to plan for life after the war. Raise you five. My mm, call. What are your cards, human? Two pair, tens, and threes. Ah, you win, Etienne. Blue, your turn. No problem, Hobbs. You have an advantage, humans. You have homes to which you can return. I left all of my friends and family behind on Alice. Personally... I think it is a foolish for any one of you to plan a future. It's obvious that we cannot win. Chen, you're a good pilot. <laughs> sort of. Why do you have such a dismal attitude? I'm merely a realist, Blue. The Empire is strong, but it is corrupt. Such a decadent, evil Empire can never achieve total victory. I just hope I live long enough to see it. Don't worry. You probably won't. You know, you kind of sound like you're the saboteur. He's sure we're all gonna die, and he's gonna make sure it happens. Maybe maybe Doomsday is the, uh, the evil bird on the ship. Anyway, we still don't have any conclusive proof, no matter which way you look at it. There's a few suspicious characters, and only a few people surviving so far, but... Uh... I guess we'll just have to keep flying missions until we can uh, prove somebody's somebody's behind it all. Briefing room, Concordia. Pilots, we have discovered a strike force at the edge of the asteroids. With luck, we can track them back to Kitithrak Mang. Weird name. And jump in behind enemy lines for an attack. Captain Ankylo and I will go after the strike fleet. Blue, we will travel through the asteroids to the enemy's position. We must allow the Rolatha to jump through the jump point. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, say no more. If we destroy it before then, we lose. Just so you know. Man, it'll be difficult not to kill all of them. That is why you are not on this mission, Stingray. Automatic equipment in our broadswords will track the ship's jump destination. If we destroy them all, we cannot locate their home, locate their home base. Once we have the tracking information, we'll jump after the Rolatha and destroy it. Uh-oh, this mission. Then rendezvous with the Concordia at another jump point. Blue Eye will finish the briefing, then meet you on the flight deck. Dismissed. So, clearly, she's being... You know, she's the boss, she's the colonel. If we just destroy the Rolatha at Nav 1, we cannot follow it, so you will not finish the mission successful. So we have to chase it away, and then jump to it, and then kill it. Simple enough. This is a fairly difficult mission, though. And it's not just because there's asteroids. 
So, um, you'll see. You'll see. Hopefully we get lucky and everything goes well, but, uh... Whenever you're doing Rolatha combat with broadswords, they get pretty big guns. They can tear you up pretty good. Unfortunately, we have to fly through a lot of asteroids in this mission. It's kind of annoying, but... I'm sure we'll get through it eventually. You, what you don't know is how many times I've restarted this recording. <laughs> it... Well, we made it pretty far before my first crash. So, uh, hey guys, how's it going? I don't really want to put a cut in the video if I can help it. Um, it... If you've ever noticed, when I splice two parts of the video together, there's a bit of a delay that's been added. It's something to do with, um, I've got, like, when I'm when I'm editing the video, if I actually have to patch two separate recordings together, it, uh, it tends to add a little bit of audio delay from the actual video footage, both the, the game audio and the, the commentary. Um, it's kind of annoying. So, um, when possible... I will try not to uh, to do that. So anyway, we just restarted the game and we'll skip all the dialogue and we'll try this again. So this is the first time this has happened on camera and now it's our second time trying this mission. But uh, yeah, I have found that in Wing Commander 2, sometimes the game just crashes to desktop. It just closes down, no warnings, nothing, just you're out of here. Um, I've read online that it can have something to do with extended memory. You can change the amount of, uh, the amount of kilobytes of RAM the game is allowed to use. Uh, but the setting that DOSBox uses for the GOG.com version is, um, pretty much the recommended end anyway. So I'm not really sure if I can do anything about it. So, uh, I don't know if it's something to do with the, the frame delay or the cycle speed or the extended memory, but... I've had that happen maybe three or four times in the course of my playing. Once on camera and a few times, two or three times off camera now. Uh, that was Angel crashing into an asteroid. No big deal. Don't worry about it. I will ask her how she's doing. If I can get the uh, transmitting data. Bombs to work. Ah, her shields are holding. She'll be okay. Broadswords are pretty sturdy. It is possible that an asteroid can one-shot kill you, but usually it just does shield damage, maybe a little bit of armor damage, so. So Angel's doing okay. And that's it. We're through our asteroid field. All right, on to the destroyer. Remember, now that we're so totally sidetracked, remember, guys, don't kill it immediately. Kill its escort, watch it jump out. All right, let's go do this. Oops. Wrong button. Let's go do this. Now, you'd have to be very aggressive to kill it before it jumps out. It definitely doesn't stick around for very long. And we've got Jalkahi. Your orders, Commander? We'll try to taunt them. No, I cannot. I'm trying to keep Angel back, but she never listens. Oh, I'm going to have to speed this up a little bit, I think. Okay, hold on, hold on. We're going to go back up to 6,000 cycles. The uh, automatic setting I've got is pretty uh, slow. So uh, when I load it up, every time I start the game up, the uh, the default FPS is pretty bad. And it's good for like one-on-one -on -one fighting, but when there's capital ships and a whole bunch of big enemy it ships around, move. we get pretty bad frame rate. So uh, we got lots of shots it going off from move. our gunners. Another missile incoming, but... Uh, Shields hopefully will hold. Looks like that's another dead one. Angel might have even got that kill, technically. Alright, trying to stay away from the uh, Ralatha. It's a Ralatha, guys. I guess I could use a missile here. Okay, that was the, the flash of the enemy ship jumping away. But we still want to finish these... Uh, Fighters off, of course. Generally get a little bit better frame rate when the capital ships are gone, so... That makes things a little bit more enjoyable. Okay, we took a little bit of heat there. They're firing a lot of missiles at us, which sucks. I'll try to take this one on the rear, rather than the front, if I can. I could use a chaff pod to, to dodge them. Looks like they missed anyway, which is crazy. I don't know. 
how we pulled off an, a missile evasion in a broadsword. No, I cannot. I would prefer you got out of the way, but whatever. We're good. All right. No problem. Damn, we lost him. Blue, you forgot what your job was here. No, mon ami. We will... He will lead us back toward his base. There. Follow me. We must catch that ship. All right. We took out his escort. Now we jump. It would also be smart to wait around for a minute while your shields recharge, but we'll be fine. Enemy sighted. Enemy sighted. Okay. Focus. I'm going to try to get a torpedo right away without pulling back. If we see anti-matter guns firing at us, I might want to pull back to 12,000 kilometers to get the target lock. But I think if we do that, Angel will get shot down. And I'd like to keep her ship together this time, because, uh, you know. Uh, we need torpedoes. Okay, we're pretty close, so we'll probably take more flak damage than I would like. If she fires a torpedo, we can finish it off. Or, she'll finish it off, one way or the other. I don't hear any explosions, and I'm taking a lot of shield damage. Well, Angel, if you can't get a torpedo off, I'm gonna have to recharge for a second here. Because I can't go back in there until my shields come up. I think my torpedo Help hit. Me. I think she... Oh, I got too close here. This might be a little dangerous. Help me. Help me. Help me. <laughs> no, I cannot. I told her to go back. All right, we're gonna go try to save her quick. Another dead ape. It took too long. <laughs> Another. All right, dead ape. come on, hold together, broadsword. Just gotta get one more torpedo off. You're doing fine. You're doing fine. Finish up. All right, that wasn't so bad. I mean, Angel may have gotten blown up, but <laughs> we got him with two torpedoes. If she'd fired a torpedo, that would have been totally fine. Yeah, my wingman ejected. Angel hates flying home. We just, she just likes to be out in space. She wants me to pick her up. Clearly. It's a little bit of time for some R&R. &R. <laughs> Guess we don't get to go pick her up. Automatic ending of mission. Concordia, the Relatha was destroyed, and I have the coordinates for Kitithrak Meng. Excellent, Captain. Return ASAP. Search and rescue will bring back Captain Devro. Yeah, we didn't even get to pick her up. What a shame. 20 minutes later. We just flew back automatically. Who knows? Maybe you're not supposed to have enough fuel to go back. So yeah, they have to auto-fly you back. Because if you don't have enough fuel for the jump, you kind of stuck, right? Welcome back, sir. Well, that was it. I, we just keep finishing these missions first try. I keep saying some of these missions are really hard and I'm expecting to fail. The only thing we had to deal with was technical difficulties. The saboteur sabotaged my system and crashed our console on us and we couldn't even see anything for like a minute or so. Anyway, we're in the final system now. As long as you follow the uh, the Ralatha through the jump point, I think I think you have to kill it. But essentially, that's how you get your victory condition. So uh, we will be on our final system today, and we will see what we will see as we attempt to destroy the enemy HQ that destroyed that the Tigers. Remember, this was the original Tigers Claw mission ten years ago when it got destroyed on our watch. So hopefully we can protect the Concordia and destroy the Tithrak Meng and finally strike a blow against the Kilrathi Empire. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you have enjoyed and have a great day.